scarf? Who wears a scarf in a warm country? Should I go break up my scarf? We're starting the day off, going to try out a new faux joint. It's uh, a place that's been started on my map for a long time, and a lot of you guys have been telling me to go check it out. Really excited. Okay, so mission fail, that full place is only open at dinner time, so we gotta find a plan B. That building is flooding. That was pretty cool, I wonder what it looks like on the inside. All right, option two, we're gonna have some bumba namba instead. That's the menu right there. They only serve one thing. Initial thoughts. One dish. Gotta do it right. Really one yeah. All right, guys. This is the bowl of bumba and namba right here. And I guess it's a, a northern style of bumtit nung. It's done with beef. You see a lot of fried shallots there. Peanuts. I hate peanuts in my food. Sprouts. There's lots of sprouts. There's the noodles. Oh. Look at that, a bunch of veg underneath there. I'm assuming that's the fish sauce. That looks amazing. I'm gonna mix this up. Wow, look at that bowl of goodness right there. Is it your new favorite thing? That's a good looking bite. Herbs, noodles, beef. Super good. Exactly what you think it is. You know, it's just like a good bowl of barbecued meat and a little boom and nuk mam, the fish sauce. There's vinegar on the table. I'm gonna give that a little bit more on there and uh, I like it. It's so tasty. Babe, what do you think about it? Exactly like Boon Tit Nung, except with beef, and there's vinegar on the table, and vinegar, vinegar is my favorite condiment, so I'm super stoked with it. What's your favorite dish? I'm also going to give this hot sauce a try. I don't know, though. Guys, that was a super amazing meal. I definitely highly recommend coming check this place out. You saw the address when I pointed to it. I'm not writing it down. Sorry, I don't have time for that. Check it out. 100%. And we share a meal with a uh, pro Vietnamese basketball player of all things. Get that. Born and raised in Vietnam. Uh, lived in Vancouver too, so represent Van City. Check this out. Yeah, I do. Mike. That's his wife right there. Hanoi Buffaloes. Represent. Represent Vancouver, man. Pro ball in Vietnam. The future. That's awesome. I love it. I'm gonna go check out a game and I'm gonna bring you guys. Yeah. I heard Jolly Bee Fried Chicken is good. Who told me that? I gotta try it out. Stopping at this cute little cafe for a break and uh, check out the views. Little chicken family.
shopping. Didn't you just get a bag, the one that you're wearing? <laughs> Stop it. Mac repair certified. Look at this little Uber car here. I like it when they got dope rides. Bumblebee. Smells like you guys been cooking bacon. She wants this. She doesn't want me. She wants the camera. She's not into it. <laughs> Give it to me. Yeah. Here. And the big question will be North Korea. Shock resistant, waterproof, child proof, throw it on the floor. Hey grandpa, I always get whatever I want. <laughs> Mama getting that dinner food prep ready. While watching Dexter, a little chayote, little zucchini. I'm trying to get this guy with the firmware update. Taking longer than I thought. Getting all the veg ready for me. Yep, you have to do the meat. My meat's still kind of frozen, so it makes it easier to slice it thin. Looks like it'll be good beef. It would be nice if I had time to marinate the meat and let it soak in a bit, but a quick little marinade and a heavy stir fry sauce will do the same trick. So, let me go a little soy sauce and a little fresh ground pepper. And a pinch of salt. Different type of saltiness than the soy, you know, you still need it. Back home cooked meals. That's pretty good. Have a bite of this right here. It's all right. The flavors are there. I totally screwed up the cooking technique. I thought because I used the big like pasta pot that I could use it as a wok and cook everything in at once. That's not the case. Stir fries usually I cook it in batches just because we don't have like a big good wok or a stir fry thing. So you just need that surface area to like give everything its individual frying time and like, yeah, so it's all right. I've had better, I've cooked better. What do you think, babe? Can't win them all, but that little guy's updated, so maybe tomorrow? <laughs> Dinner wasn't so good, so we had to get some KFC. No shame. Delivered. No shame. Best chicken burgers in the world. Mm. Mm. Two crispy chicken burger combos delivered. 138 now. Yeah, dinner was a massive fail. That beef, no good. Something funky about that. And just the cooking technique, uh, yeah, screwed it up. Oh well. Chicken burger's really good. Secretly, maybe I did it on purpose. That's what I wanted. What are you doing? Hi. <laughs> you eating rice? <laughs>